am Kiki, the animal observer. I'm the little duck Quacky. Quacky, let's learn about our new friends. Little animals. Huh? Where are our new friends? Little animals are really tiny. Let's check them out with a magnifying glass. Wow! Drag the magnifying glass to find little animals. A spider. A mantis. A butterfly. A snail. A bee. An earthworm. We found so many tiny animal friends. Let's learn about them. This is a mantis. A mantis is an insect. This is a bee. A bee is also an insect. This is an earthworm. Are earthworms also insects? That's not correct. An earthworm is not an insect. Oh, why are some tiny animals insects and some not? Kids, do you know what an insect is? Let's check it out. Let's count. Let's count how many antenna they have on their heads. One, two. One, two. They both have two antenna on their heads. Let's count how many parts their bodies are divided into. One, two, three. One, two. Three. Their bodies are divided into head, thorax, abdomen. Three parts. Let's count how many legs they have. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They both have six legs. Summary. An insect has two antenna on its head. An insect's body is divided into three parts. Head, thorax, and abdomen. An insect normally has six legs. An insect has two antenna and six legs with its body divided into three parts of head, thorax, and abdomen. I get it. Kids, have you got it? Quiz time. Which of the following is an insect? A. Ant B. Snail C. Spider Not this one. Try again. Whoa! That's right. You are right. As a snail doesn't have six legs, it's not an insect. A spider has eight legs and no antenna. It's not an insect either. An ant has two antenna, six legs. Its body is divided into three parts. Head, thorax, and abdomen. An ant is an insect. Some tiny animals are insects, and some are not. It's so amazing! There are more fun facts about them. Aw? Do you know what's in the shell of a snail? Oh! What is special about butterfly wings? How does a bee build a beehive? Quacky, do you want to know? Yes! These little animals are full of secrets! Kids, let's discover the secrets of these little animals! Let's go! Let's go! Ah! Eh? Ah? Wah! Big butterfly! Actually, we've become smaller! Wah! Welcome to Tiny Animal Kingdom! Butterflies are gorgeous! <laughs> Let's learn about the butterfly. Six legs. Patterns on the wings. Antenna on the head. Butterfly. A butterfly is an insect and it has pretty patterns on its wings. Look, Kiki! I am a beautiful butterfly! <laughs> Quacky! Is there something missing on your wings? Oh! Got it! There are pretty patterns on the wings of a butterfly! You're right! 
kids, let's help Quacky draw pretty patterns. What do butterfly wings look like? Thanks for helping me draw the wings. <laughs> now I am an extremely beautiful butterfly. Kids, aren't Quacky's wings beautiful? And you know what? The patterns on butterfly wings are of great importance. Aww. Let's check out this butterfly. The patterns on butterfly wings are actually made up of many small, colorful scales. These scales serve as little raincoat for a butterfly so that it can fly even when it rains. Then, let's check out this butterfly. Some butterflies have wing patterns that closely resemble their living environment. Is this dead leaf butterfly actually shaped like a leaf? Look, the enemies can't find it, hiding among leaves. Oh no! Caterpillar! There's a caterpillar! Don't worry, Quacky. A caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly when growing up. Look, a butterfly eggs hatches into a caterpillar. The caterpillar grows into a cocoon. Look, the caterpillar turns into a butterfly and it is flying out of the cocoon. The chubby caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. Hey! <laughs> Not only does the butterfly grow beautiful wings, but it also grows a special tube on its face. What does a butterfly use the coiled tube for? The coiled tube on a butterfly's face is proboscis. The butterfly straightens its coiled proboscis and extends it into the flower to sip nectar. I know! The butterfly is looking for nectar when flying about in the flowers. You're right! There are so many butterflies in the garden. Quacky, would you like to learn about them? Yeah! I want to take beautiful photos of the butterflies! Let's check them out! There are so many butterflies! Let's take some beautiful photos of them! Postman butterfly! Blue morpho butterfly! Common mormon! Butterfly Dead Leaf Butterfly Owl Butterfly Quacky, what have you learned about the butterfly? Oh, butterfly wings are very beautiful, and they are also quite useful. A caterpillar turns into a butterfly. The proboscis of a butterfly works like a straw and can be used to sip nectar. That's great! Quacky is so clever. Quack, 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 quack. Kids, have you got it? Huh? What is this? Be careful. Run! Oh no! I won't do it again. I promise. This is a beehive, the home of the little bees. Are there many bees in the beehive? Let's check it out. Smart tablet, activate. Queen bee, also known as queen wasp. Drone. Worker bee. Bee. Bees are insects. They are divided into queen bee, drones, and worker bees. A huge amount of bees forms a large family and live together in the beehive. A beehive is like a big building with lots of bees in it. You're right. Hey! The little bees are talented architects. They build the beehive. It's a lot of fun inside the beehive. Wow! What is inside the beehive like? Kids, let's piece it together and check out what the beehive looks like. Let's piece together the beehive. Wow! 
what a beautiful shape! Look, each honeycomb cell in the beehive is in the shape of a hexagon of the same size. Some cells serve as warehouses for the storage of honey and pollen. There are also cells for the newborn baby bees. The beehive is strong and nice looking. Bees can build houses! Amazing! And they can also sing and buzz! <laughs> That's not correct. A buzz is not the sound of a bee's singing. What is that? A bee has two pairs of wings. When flying, the bee beats its wings rapidly and gives off a buzzing sound. There are so many bees flying around. Buzz, buzz. You're right. Let's check out what kind of bees are in the beehive. There is only one queen bee in the beehive. The queen bee is bigger than any other bees. It lays many eggs. Wah! Drones are little helpers to the queen bee for facilitating the egg laying. There are also the worker bees, which account for the highest proportion in the beehives. I know! Worker bees can collect nectar! You're right! Hey! Look! The worker bees are off to collect honey. Would you like to check it out? Yeah! The flowers are in blossom. Let's collect honey! quite a lot of honey. Thank you. Quacky, what have you learned in this section? Oh, there are the queen bee, drones, and worker bees in the beehive. The bees are talented architects. The hardworking worker bees collect pollen and nectar from flowers. All correct. Quack, 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 quack. Kids, have you got it? 